back at the allotment today. It's not a part two, it's just a continuation. But what I'll do is I'll put the link of the last allotment video in the description just in case you want to see it. And then you'll see what stage I'm at now. Uh, as I said in the last video, um, the allotments don't get many views, I don't know why. You can't make people watch, but I've noticed on YouTube that allotments are a big, um, they're a big, they're a big thing. People watch them, so I don't know, don't know what it is, but I'm still going to do them because I like doing them. But it would be nice if uh, if someone watched because it's you feel like you're wasting your time if no one watches. That's the whole point of doing them, isn't it? What I'm going to do today is I've already done a video a while back. It hasn't been watched of fixing this greenhouse. Now. I'll put it together, you can just see it hanging there, I think. With, there was clips on it originally, and they all got blew off. So I'll put it on with some no nails, or some kind of silicone I used. But I just did a couple of little blobs, just to hold them on, with the intention of coming back at a later date to do it properly. And did I? What do you think? Obviously not. So that's what I'll do today. I'll just take a few little snippets of what I'm doing today. And hopefully I'm going to get my onions in today. Stay tuned, watch what's going on. At this moment, I'm not bothered about any looks cosmetically. I can always go over it with a razor blade, but as long as it sticks to me, I'm not bothered how thick a blob I put on at the moment. What I really should have done is come with about three of those instead of one. And done the job properly from scratch. <laughs> well, that's it, all done. And I've got all sorts of bits of props to keep it on because, because they've been off for so long, they've bent and they're sort of pushing themselves out. So that'll hold it for now. I've shut the door in case any wind gets in and blows them out. But I'll get back as soon as I can to go and get some more silicone and get them all, all done all the way, all the way out. I'm going to give this path a brush now. I'm just going to keep the place a little bit tidy because it makes a big difference. Just brush that path and it doesn't have to make a difference. And look at the difference. So not a major issue, but you'll see the difference. Not the greatest gardening tip in the world, but if you keep things clean and tidy, it just makes you feel happy. It's a happier job. I feel better now. So I'm just in the middle of moving this um, oh, hydrangea. I'll just move it over a little bit, only a couple of feet, just to give me a complete block to work with.
feels a bit soft, um, that one especially, but it's got green tips on, so I'm going to put them in anyway. But they may have been left in the bag too long. But it's quite hard, that one's soft. We'll see. So I'm going to separate them all first. That one's no good. This is what I mean when I say plants want to grow. Um, as you're taking the, the layers off, this is, it's probably been in the bag too long, so this is all like mushy. But if you take that off, there's still growth underneath. And I mean, look at that green. So I'm pretty confident on it. Not 100%, but I am confident. And if you look at these, if you can pick that up, it's all brown. But look, as you don't do it, Take off all the brown skin. I mean, they're going to rot anyway in the ground, all that outer shell. So it may not, but I think I think it will. It's so green, and then obviously there's the bulb that we're taking apart uh, again as you undo it. It looks absolutely wrecked and then you take more off and then there's green shoots can't quite see that as much but there is this green shoot there just unfailing so i'm gonna stick them in and i'm 95 percent most of them will grow anyway but i'm just talking about these green these ones that are sort of brown looking That's all in. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spread a little bit of mulch between them just to disguise them a little bit because the birds tend to pull them out if they're sticking out. So I'll just put that on. Not too heavy, I don't want to cover them, but just, just to disguise them a bit. Right, so just ready with the onion sets. Um, what I just said about the garlic, about the birds pulling them out. Really, when you're planting garlic, it's supposed to be about an inch underground. But these already had green shoots on, so I didn't want to put the green shoots underneath because they were already sprouting. So I've sort of left the green out a little bit. They are probably just an inch. Probably, probably about an inch anyway, so that'll do. But with the green bits sticking out, they can be pulled out. But as I say, the garlic's supposed to go under the ground and you do leave the little uh, onion sets just proud and that's why the birds... So I'm going to do the same again. Hello, what are you doing there? Glad you could join me. Now that you're here, I might as well explain what's happening. Just got back to the allotments again. And I've dug out my cloches, or cloches. Whatever. For all intents and purposes, we shall call them cloches. Just got a little fire going. And I brought myself some something to eat. I just didn't feel like sandwiches, so I'm going to do an omelette. But it's just started raining. It's very fine. I've got my hat on, so I can't feel it, but I can hear it. I can hear it. I hear it hitting the plastic. But the cloches were inside the shed. Sorry, it's a bit light behind me, isn't it? You can't see. And this is what I wanted to get out. I had. So, I knew I had some play in there for the for the for my workshop floor, which is on another video. If you're following. Me, you'll know. 
Okay, I've just done another video about the workshop, but I thought I had more than one. There's only one in it, one in a little bit. It's something. I'll just show you inside the shed. And as you know, as I've been saying, I, I don't come to the allotments as regular as I should do. And uh, the greenhouse needed fixing and, you know, it needed weeding and everything. And that's the whole point of this while we're on isolation. I'll come here and try and do it. We've had rats in there. So I'll spin you around and I'll take it in. So just this second started brushing up here. So all this floor here was like that. And I've just brushed it up, but then I decided I'd bring you in and show you the rats. Can't actually see them, thank God. I'm not scared of rats, but I just don't like them. In fact, I don't like things like frogs or anything that can jump out. I'm not scared of them. But you know, when you're working and they just go, they just scare you. So, um, yeah, basically that's it. This is, I don't know what the actual word for, you get it in packaging. It's just to stop things breaking in packaging. And I knew someone who got me a lot, lots of this and I put the, this is what the ply was for. I had all in good intentions of getting this shed, like award winning, where you could sit in and have a cup of tea. I got that off someone. It's a sink with a grill. You only have to get the um, colour gas bottle attached to it and away you go. I had all these plans. They've all been shelved because I just didn't get here. So the idea was to put this ply lining on and then fill behind here the cavity with all these. Now, all these were in there. So somewhere, like amongst all this, there's been maybe a hole dug and they've got them all out. But you can see all the rat crap there. So there's plenty of it. Plenty there. So I hope you're not having your tea or your breakfast or anything eating while you're watching this. I do apologise. So what I'm going to do now is, as I say, every time I come to the allotment, I come to do one job and end up doing like three other jobs. My plan wasn't to tidy the shed up. It was just to get the, the cloches out and the wood out. But while I'm here, I'll just give this a quick sweep out and move stuff around. Not, you know, just uh, these are oak. I want to keep these. I wanted to make, uh, I used to make little... Get all the edges chamfered and do little door names and um, things like that so what i did i used to sell them on ebay but i can't be bothered now to do it now but at least i did if i want to so i'll brush move these tidy it all up and i'll show you it all clean surprised again by nature not really surprised but astounded i suppose this was a, a yucca that had died um rotted got dug up i put it in the compost heap and i moved it off the compost heap because it was a little bit too big it wasn't it was taking too long to rot and i was going to burn it so i've left it just here i'll show you i just left it here until i was ready to burn it and it's absolutely rotted and then i've just come to move it now and look at this i know i keep saying they want to grow but that it, I hope I can sort of try and get it to live because it deserves it. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to because it might just be feeding off what's left in the log inside, but I'll have a look in a minute. Okay, so as we cut into it, you can see it's rotted there. It's literally soil. But obviously as you take different parts away, there's flesh. It's, uh, it's still living. So this bit here, I'm going to just cut it away and I'm going to pop that in the ground and just see what happens. Just give it, at least give it a chance. It may put some roots out, but we'll see. We'll see on a later video when there's another little piece coming up here as well. So let's see what we can do to that. Okay, well, it's just going to give it a whirl. Let's get it in and see what happens. It'd be nice if it did grow. I'm not a, I'm not a biggest fan of them, I'll be honest with you. But at the end of the day, if it's struggling that much and trying that much, then it deserves, it deserves a chance. Just water them in now and then hopefully try and keep them watered and I'll keep you posted <coughs> excuse me, a bit dusty all done uh, you can eat your dinner off that although I wouldn't recommend it this chair as I say, if you follow me, you'll know I like to do bits and bobs of uh, woodwork and stuff of a hobby as a hobby and I've had this for about 8 years, maybe more and I just keep moving it from pillar to post but keeping it, I just want it I just love it, obviously I'm going to reupholster it but I just love the chair Um don't know just one of them things and it's been 
just ready to get thrown out about three, four times and I've gone, no, I can't. So that's getting kept and one day I'll do something with it. Self-explanatory, that needs putting up and cleaning and using. And then, yeah, it won't be this tidy because all this has got to come in. But that's handy. Look, chicken wire, so compost or to keep things off the veg. So that'll be great. So what I'm going to do now is the fire's going great. The rain's stayed off. And I'm going to start getting some seeds in. So I'll film that for you now. And um, while I'm on the subject of filming, uh, a few people have said, I commented that people don't watch the allotments videos. I don't know why, but they just don't. Because some of them have got like 300 views in two years and things like that. Um, just go to my playlist. This goes for anything as well. If you want to see turfing or you want to see tied ups or anything. Put the allotments there as well. But I did notice it was only today. I went on it myself and there was only two on there. Although I've done about eight allotment videos. Uh, I hadn't put them on the playlist. So that's my fault. So yeah, if you go on the playlist, if you're interested, and just have a look at the allotment videos or any other you want to. Well, ladles and jelly spoons. It's dinner time. We've got our flask and we've got our little omelette that we're going to do. Okay, so what have we got? I haven't got any onions, there was no onions in the fridge and I was really disappointed. So I'm using peppers, not to worry, but I really would have liked onions. Just got them soaking in some oil. So we'll get them. Put them in. flask and I'm still using the quick tip that I gave last year sometime about the flask I must have broke I'd say four easy four flasks they roll off my seat that broke and they've rolled into the footwell and when, when the passenger doors open out they go and they break bad loads break so there's a little quick tip on the uh, on the videos if anyone's interested if you haven't seen it and trust me, it works. I take sugar in coffee, I don't take any sugar in tea. And this is a three in one. These are brilliant as well, just keep them in the van. I wouldn't give that as a quick tip because that's just common sense, isn't it? To be honest, they're all common sense. But And I've got the obligatory spoon for stirring. It's got to be done, hasn't it? The old pencil. Oh, I can hear these now. We'll just get them because they take a bit of what bit a bit longer because they're peppers. I wish I had the onions. So in here, I've got two eggs and a bit of milk. Also, just remembered the most important thing. Let me go and get it. Oh yeah. Don't know where I got these from. Oh listen to that. Oh, I'm still going to leave them a little bit longer. Oh. A few of my customers have become customers for a strange reason, which I'm going to say now is happening to me. Um, they did their own garden and they were quite happy doing their own garden and quite capable of doing their own garden. But every time they went to sit in the garden, they'd look round because they're relaxing and notice things that needed doing. Couldn't relax and 
they said it used to upset them and they couldn't just relax and have a glass of wine and just look at the garden instead of seeing chores and jobs to do. And that's what I used to do when I come to the allotments. Instead of coming to do one thing, I'd look around and think, I've got to do that, I've got to do that. Still plenty to do, but it's all under control at the moment, as you can see. So I can sit here now and have a coffee. Get these little babies going. And look around and, en and enjoy it. And that's what they do. They got me to do the garden. I do the garden and they sit in it and enjoy it. Almost ready. This is spinach leaves. And if I was feeling a little bit risky, well, not even risky, that's the wrong word, adventurous, I could beat my dandelion leaves, you can eat all them, but I don't know if there's any rats on it. Tomatoes and some ham, chopped ham. Away. The rain's gone off anyway. No, not the rain. The rain. Just want to get a bit of colour on these peppers. They're just going brown now at the tips. Oh. I know how to live, me, you know. Break this up, the eggs and the milk. The only downside is you can't turn the heat down. So if I do think it's burning, I can lift it up with my hand. And if I had something metal, strips of metal, I could put them in just to heat, lift it up. Do you know what? I don't want to be too technical. I'm at the allotment for God's sake. That handle's getting hot. I don't want to lose it. Just want it to be a bit more even, no reason. Okay, it's time for a little bit of garnish. And a bit of pepper.
Okay. Let's get it at. Bloody tasty, but hot. This stinks now. May have to position me, reposition myself. But uh, that's bloody lovely. Delicious. Well, <clears throat> I'm just going to take a picture of this and put it on Instagram and Facebook. But I haven't done it this second. I haven't done it yet. But I've just realised that as soon as I mention the allotment and an omelette and shows, everyone's going to think I've got all the produce from the allotment. I haven't, but never mind. I will do, you know, when it's all ready and we'll, we'll do another one using only stuff from the allotment. I mean, I'll do lots of videos from the allotments if more people were interested, but I do like doing them. I, it sounds like I'm moaning. I'm not moaning at all. Nobody's making me do the videos. I do the videos because I like them. But I think the point I'm making is it does take a lot of time. Don't really mind now because we're in lockdown. I've got the time. But when you're working and you're stopping and you're getting the videos, it does take a lot of time. And then the editing takes a lot of time. So if, if people don't watch them, you think to yourself, well... That was a bit of a waste waste of time. But I can't complain. Thousands watch it. Two and a half million people have watched. I've had two and a half million views. No way am I am I'm a moaning. But I'm just shocked that some don't get viewed at all. Um, and yet people say to me, keep up the videos or I can't wait for your next video. Why are you waiting for one? Have a look at the back videos. Go to the playlist. See, find something that you're interested in. Um, have a look at that. I'll stop going on now. I, I'm not moaning, honestly, I'm not moaning. Um, if, if you did videos yourself, you, you'd know. You'd know. And if you do, then you will know. <laughs> See you in a minute. Going to get some beetroot in now. Some carrots. And what else have I got? Um, oh, parsnips. Okay. So you just missed me putting in the um, part, um, sorry, beetroot. I had to put the phone on charge, but it's just the same again. I'm just putting a carrot in now. I've 
stuck the little trench and I'm going to pop them in. I'm just going to put one row in of the carrots. One row of everything really. Uh, I know the succession planting where you plant at a different couple of weeks later so that everything doesn't come up at the same time. That's a great idea if you're really someone who plans ahead and everything. But I'm just so happy to get them in. That I'm just happy with one row. And the likes of the parsnips and the carrots, uh, they, they can stay in the ground anyway until you use them. So they're not, it's not, you won't get a glut all at once and you've got to use them. So that's, for, that's my reason and just do one, one row of each. Well, my video, my camera keeps saying no storage and I've just deleted all sorts of stuff. And it's still, I'm just about going to get this on the end. So I'm going to leave it here now. Anyway, it's about half four, so I'm going to go home anyway. So I've got the parsnips in the beetroots in and the carrots in. That's going to be left at the corners, I've just said. Um, I forgot what I was saying now, I'm all of a fluster. Because I'm just hoping that this is going to record. Hope the sun's not in you. I'm going to get down here and turn around. I don't know if that's any worse. So I'm going to call it a day today. Um, um, I have got to get, I haven't got these in yet, look. So I've got the um, cabbage and the cauliflower to go in. And I'm going to put rocket, and if anyone knows, it's going to go in a bucket. A big plant pot. It's not going to go in the ground. It's like mint. It just goes rampant. So I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. And those of you who have stayed to the end, well done. There'll be a star in the post. See you all on the next video.